Hello everyone and welcome to Gilbert's Gaming Channel. I'm a dude. We're about to play Conflict of Nations on our solo Israel playthrough. Alrighty. Let's have a look at what's going on, guys. Unfortunately, I could not get day 11 as it wouldn't let me log on to Conflict of Nations at the time I went to record. So either I was having trouble or they were. So that's the reason we didn't get day 11. However, you can clearly see the small progress that we made and I sent the boat round to this way so it can start bombarding the man. It's nearly there now. As you can see here we've collected a squad of four under an officer dude who will now head in and take Medina. Affirmative. We've got back up on its way which we will just take some of the land around. So that's going to be lovely. Um, right, how long are you going to take? 7 hours 46 minutes. I'll tell you what, we'll actually send you into there as well. Get some more fuel. Not that we need the fuel, but it's always good to have every resource and lots of it. These should take Medina no problem. And then we'll be sending this guy on Moving straight away. We're going to move over to another city. We'll probably go straight for their capital to be fair. Maybe even pick up this guy on the way for tomorrow um okay i can see a bunch of rogue state okay what's going on we have 8.9 and they have 11.9 that's a worry but we do have the, the defense we'll see what happens these guys have got the minus 25 percent so it's going to be tough. Hopefully, and they're, if they're attacking, they've got a weak attack, so it should be okay. We'll see. And these have got 13.9 against my National Guard. The thing is, with National Guard, is they, they get a higher um, defensive bonus than ANCs. And you reduce by 25%. Or is that later then? Ooh, we might lose this one. Damn. And their attack is weak, though, so we'll see what happens there. We'll keep an eye on that. Um, let's go in. Now, did we build a second airport? No, we did not. We need to get our level 2 airport on so that we can start getting strike jets in. I've left these two troops up here just to defend. Should Turkey or Iraq attack us, they're, they're probably going to go for these cities. And it just buys us a little bit of time to see what we can do with it, which is all cool. Uh, right, zooming out, this is the land we have. You can see our troop here, he's, he's making his way around. We're going to be taking Khartoum as soon as we can. However, they have pushed out and took this one back. So they've got more troops in there. And I need to send more back up for this guy. But I sent him on a little errand while he goes. And we'll send in some more troops as soon as we have some available. Talking of availability for troops, let's start building some. So we've got some on the way. And that's all we can afford because we are poor. However, I did say that we would start getting some research done and start upgrading our economy. So I did that. As you can see, we're building arms industries all over the place. I've just been checking in, building bits and not troops. So it's put us a day behind with troop production. However, I think it's going to pay off to have the resources coming in a little bit better. And obviously, once we take these cities, we're going to get a bit more here and there as well. So that's going to be nice. Okay. So, going forward. If I can get some research done, let's have a look at what we could do. We might be getting day 13 research. That would be quite good. We'll see if we can afford that. We should be able to tomorrow. And again, that's a little bonus to our infantry because infantry are like my main thing. So I'll try and aim for that. Uh, we we do need to get some sort of support troop at some point. So even if we can just get a howitzer, that'll help. Um, there's no point upgrading these yet because we haven't even got the level 2 airport, which is something we will definitely be building tomorrow. And we have the Hamilton class, which we could, we could upgrade. We're behind. We should probably be getting onto the Cyclone class. But... We have other things going on. Remember, we are solo, so 
I've really got to prioritize taking land and securing it. Uh, once this is all secure, we're not going to be picking fights with another enemy just yet. Our next enemy will likely be taking these two areas underneath Saudi Arabia. Once they are taken, we will work on Iraq. And once that is done, I should imagine we'll probably go north into Turkey. But we'll have to see how things play out. Anything could change. If these start coming in, we'll have to prepare our defenses that way. Cool. Cool. All right, well, I'll leave that one here, guys, and I'll see you on day 13. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Gilbro's Gaming Day 13 on our Israel playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Alrighty, here we go. We've got our boat round there. He's cleared the man. And we're going to send this troop here to go and take it. So that's his job. Looking forward as we are. We have this troop is ready to go. So I'm going to go take that land there just to clear up behind our front line. We have our officer dude going in here with two units. They're hopefully going to take the capital of Saudi Arabia there. Well, that's the plan with those guys. As you can see, what's the morale here? Oh, hang on. What's the morale there? It's not loading in. Oh, we're glitching. Hello. Oh, this is a problem. Load in. Thank you. We've got to leave them there. I couldn't see the smoke. I thought it was all okay. That's not. Woo. It's been a bit glitchy tonight. Again, recently it has been as well because we couldn't get it going for day 11. So as you can see, we're capturing the troops of Saudi, Ar um, the land of Trans Saudi Arabia, and building the arms industry, Latakia, try and get everything up a little bit. Uh, I would like some more supplies. So let's look at our supplies. Level five, Jerusalem, level five, Alexandria, level three. So let's pump uh, a level four into Nar, Asiat, a level three. Nice. Uh, this soldier here is nowhere gonna, no way gonna be able to take Khartoum. So what we will do? Uh, oh, Barney. We'll send them back to Asia. We'll get uh, arms. No, we won't. Can't afford it. Wanted an arms industry there. What kind of things are on sale in this game? We don't have a lot of cash. How about some of this though? Showing. I'll buy it just to make sure our research keeps going. So let's have a look at that research. We've got one space. We're upgrading our infantry up to the maximum level now. We need something else to support us. And we don't even have enough supplies to do this. What am I thinking with my life? Oh, mate. Okay. We're really short on troops. I'm not liking it. Right. This is risky, but we're going to do it. We are going to do it. I'm going to get these troops to go to Asia. They're going to meet up with this one. Together, they're going to retake Aswan. And then we'll go down and take Khartoum. Hopefully. That's the plan, anyway. And uh, in between that, we'll get some more supplies on the way, and we'll build some more troops. Let's have a look at our cities. Yeah, we've got a bunch of troops on the way, so we'll be alright. But I need more, and I need it quicker. Talking of, see if I can get this to go in and just check this land out. I don't, I'd rather not take any casualties. And once that's done with that... What we can do is actually set it on a waypoint to come straight back. That way, if it goes there and finds an enemy, it'll bombard it. It'll just stop the, until it's killed it, and then it'll come back. If there's nothing, it'll come straight back. So, well, at least it should do. We'll see what happens. Right. 
If we zoom out, you can see the sort of landmass we have available to us at the moment. I'm thinking going into South Sudan straight after this would be a nice quick take. And that is another good supply city, Juba. Looking at frets, we're looking west. Nigeria seems to be expanding. Libya, I don't think it's going to be an issue. And Morocco might well be one. Um, so Morocco and Nigeria potentially. We'll see what happens. And then, oh, we got Congo, Cameroon, Kenya. I don't see any major South Africa's pushing. Okay, South Africa as well. Let's just check out, see if they're all in a group. They might well be. They got one member. Okay, maybe not. Um, interesting. They're not in one. And they're in their own thing as well. Okay. We're going to need troops to this front line and I want to push some land grab before it is too late. I'm not worried about Nigeria, South Africa and Morocco which are going to be the ones. We'll continue pushing here, we'll take over all this land down south. Once this area has been taken we're going to move this boat round to Muscat and start attacking that. Oh we lost Jazan, oh great. So we're losing troops and people all over the place. This is a oh, cities and we need another influx of troops. That's what the resource building's for. Give it some time, we'll be back on it. Alright guys, well I'll leave that one here and I'll see you guys on day 14. Hey everyone and welcome to day 14 of our Israel playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Okay, let's uh, zoom in and have a look at our front line, guys. Right. Reporting for duty. Our officer really took a battering. So we withdrew. <clears throat> As you can see, I've got two lots of infantry ready to go in and take Jazan back from the riddles. Reporting for duty. So we're not Reporting sure what is going to happen. I don't know how many they got in there. So what we'll actually do is take the officer Affirmative. through Affirmative. some other bits for now. Affirmative. And we'll go into this city. Affirmative. So that'll keep the officer busy for a while. We're still bombarding this unit over in yeah that place. Because I can't say all that. And we have more troops here. Waiting for the third one just to join in so that we can go and take Aswan. Aswan! <clears throat> Excellent. So things are moving, however, slow. Yep, Corvette attacks and advanced infantry research has been done. Beautiful. <clears throat> Let's have a look at what else we can do. So we're up to date with the infantry. That's a thing of beauty. We need our jets to stay up to date, but we can't afford that. Can't afford a Corvette upgrade. We could get artillery. I love artillery. Let's get artillery. There we go. That's used up all our supplies that we had available. Shame. However, we need them. Let's buy some of these while there are so many on offer. And some of these just to prepare for the future um, let's have a look because we are going to be getting jets out soon which is why I'm stocking up on those as you can see we are 66% of the way through building our level 2 airbase superb so we'll be getting aircraft for tomorrow hopefully well it'll take a while to make actually a couple more days we'll have aircraft and then we can push a little harder um, which is just luscious. We're still going solo. Obviously, this is a solo playthrough. If we fail, then we fail. <coughs> Ow. 
and um, yeah I do need a lot more troops we need I know we've got a little wave coming four more infantry squads due to come out a couple of them I've put on today so these are the ones that were already on tomorrow yesterday so they'll be out for tomorrow and these will be out for so we'll have four more by tomorrow and I will obviously be moving them throughout the day and looking at it I'll probably move most of them maybe three out of four we'll start taking and pushing this way on our front down south and we'll send an extra one over here to back up whatever's left from taking as one we can go down and take Khartoum that's the plan anyway <clears throat> Yes, yes. Remember, we've got to watch out for Morocco and South Africa as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Cool. We've got time. What is that? Just a red piece of map? Okay. Okay. Anyway, not much progress, but it is progress. We've lost a few good men today. We lost men here. Because there was two squads there. I think there's something like two or three here. <clears throat> in Ryder. Or Ryad. Um, they've got something a bit heavier there. So I'm wondering if they've got two infantry. One armoured and the jet. Possibly. Or no. Actually no. They've probably got artillery. Because they were bombarding muddy. So we'll deal with that as soon as we can. What we'll do is we'll go around the outside. We know Damam is clear. So that extra troop, maybe I could send it down straight for Damam because this will be clear. And then it'll just be that left, which will pull everyone together and sort that out and heal up as best we can. We've got a hospital being built in Medina. So we can come back to Medina, heal up a little bit, and then we'll plan our next attack against Afghanistan. Iraq, sorry, not Afghanistan. What am I on about? Afghanistan's over there, isn't it? Right. <clears throat> cool. I'll leave that one here, guys, and I'll see you on day 15. Hey all, and welcome to day 15 of our Israel playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Okay, as you can see, we've got some issues. There's a tank, man. Saudi Arabia have built a tank. Thankfully, you know, we've got infantry holding, holding on here. And the boat should be bombarding this. So we're going to win the fight. Hopefully not at the cost of the infantry. Um, we've got some more infantry getting ready to move in here. So we're going to send them in. And then... Uh, actually, we can... Hmm, we can send them to meet up. Nope. We'll do it the other way. Moving to target. Send them to meet up here. Affirmative. So then we can move into the capital and take that with our... Officer. To the officer took some hits, as you can see, very low on health. Not looking forward to getting them killed, but it might happen. We need these advantages though, so they're going in. Now we've got, as you can see, two more units moving in here. They're going to get here and they'll join up and we'll move those in. Actually, we can quite happily move them up now so that they come in here. We get get ready for taking Khartoum. However, what's their health like? It's not too bad. We'll have a look. Now we are building jets somewhere. There we go. In our capital, we have got a jet being built in ten hours' time for the next day. We shall have our first jet, which is great. We've got a military hospital being made in Medina. Fantastic. And we are gonna need some more troops. We're looking pretty good for uh, components, but supplies are looking a bit low. So let's have a little peeky what we can do. Right, this place obviously needs a better industry because our rare resources are not great. This one's already level five. Fuel's okay at the moment. We do need more fuel. Uh, this one needs to go up to level 3. These are all supplies, so can we get them all boosted? Not that one. 
Can we afford that one? No, nope, that's that. That's it done then, is it? Oh man. Well, I'll keep trying to work on those, and then uh, we can get some more industry going. I mean, like I say, the industry is looking okay. We've got 221 per hour, which is alright. Um, it's just I'm spending a lot. <laughs> I need it. I need so much. We're also going to have to get some. As you can see, we've got the howitzers going now. We should probably invest in the main battle tank or something similar. Um, maybe even upgrade our boats. We've got so much to do. But hey, we've just got to conquer what's here at the moment and then we'll deal with the rest. We'll make a new battle plan. So, here we go. That should conquer that. These guys are going to conquer this city and we should have Saudi Arabia wrapped up possibly tomorrow or the next day at the very latest then we'll start moving on to Muscat and Sana'a that's going to be pretty decent we'll send our boat round to Muscat clear it beforehand obviously and um, yeah we shall take Khartoum Khartoum now I don't know how many troops they got there we'll try and have a little sneak peek if this stops smoking, we can send this troop in as well, but it's probably not going to for a few more days yet. So we'll see what we can do. But if we can do it with two, we will. If not, uh, I'm trying to think what we could do. Can't even get across to take these lands just to like starve it out. But we'll just hold down, wait for reinforcements, because they are coming. Okay, let's have a look at our events quickly. Research complete for the howitzer, conquered territory. Defeating battalion. Yep. A lot of Saudi Arabia issues today. Whoop. Okay. There might well be something there then. Okay. No worries. Right. I'll leave that one here, guys. And I'll see you guys on day 16. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please do drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more daily content from us. And until that next one, take care, guys. The dude is out. <laughs>